Hi, I'm Laura. I'm Autumn. Together we're Morning Stitches. Welcome to Floss Tube number 14. We are back and on time and we're excited to share what we've got going on this week. It's a little kind of icy kind of drizzle rain coming down so it's a perfect day to be indoors and yeah. They, Autumn's poor Autumn's been sick for the past few days. She's yeah. better now. I better know. yesterday, really. Yes, I was better yesterday. But yesterday is when I officially like became healthy. Yeah, <laughs> but still a little tired from it, I guess. What well, you were down for three days? Yeah, yeah a little a flu, flu kind of bug. So that was going around the school. She managed to catch. Ugh. I haven't yet. Knock on wood. Wood. Sorry, Autumn. <laughs> Excuse me. There's stones in there, not wood. Go. Oh. <laughs> It rocks. So. Uh, okay. Anyway, we've got, this is our first week of February, so we've got our whips to go through, and we've got a first week flip through of a book. Yeah. I forgot yeah. it was first week. Flip, flip. flip through. <laughs> We're going to pretend I never said anything. Pretend. Yes. We all know you have to do a lot of that. And we've got um, what we're going to be working on, and some walk updates, a book. Crack crochet up, update. It's the usual stuff. So welcome again, costume number 14. And shall we get started with what we've been working on this week? Yeah. I mean, why not, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I was working on my uh, whips of my stitch alongs, and I also worked a little bit more on Autumn's graduation piece. I didn't get a whole lot done, but here is the Bobby G Designs. Congrats. Oh, I'm going to start putting. Yeah. Mom, I'm going to look terrible today. What are you doing? So, I'll put it between us. Okay. Uh, anyway, so here's the one I've been working on. And uh, last week I had all the way up to the G, and I barely started the diploma. Yeah. It's not as much fun doing that color as it was doing all the <laughs> bright ones. The bright ones. So, I got it. And it's the pattern's a little, I don't know, it's not complicated, but it's harder to read in that section of the pattern. So. Okay, good. At least we get started on the diploma, right? Right? Right. Right. Then I worked on my seasonal streets from Lakeside Needlecraft. Been working on the border and I got the leaves all done. Yeah. I'm going to have to. I still love that needle minder. It's, it's one of my favorites too. But the leaves are three colors all by themselves. So for two days. I got the leaves done. Let's see. I did, the new uh, piece came out. So I printed, this time I printed it out. So let's see if I can find it. Of course, you know, it's in the, look at this pile. I mean, that's <laughs> the pattern. Okay. So let's see I'll if I can find it. it. <laughs> Should have been prepared. Sorry. Okay. I'll just I was taking it all. But anyway, so here's where I am. I, like I said, I got the green leaves. So I'm kind of happy about that, but there's still uh, like Christmas ornaments hanging down on the pattern that I need to do. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, and I, I have a, the new one, which shows both houses for January and February because it came on the third. Comes on the third in the month. So you keep talking. I, I don't know. I can't keep talking. I'm stalling. <laughs> Stall. Let's yeah. see. Joke book. Oh, oh, we no. should have asked Alexa for a joke for today. Uh, you don't want a joke of the week? Are you sure you printed it out, Mom? No, I'm not. I did print it out, but I may have left it upstairs. You probably left it upstairs. Okay. It's upstairs. This entire thing. <laughs> uh, next time I'll show next it. Next week. <laughs> nope, not next or week. End of the month. End of the month. Week. <laughs> so work some more on um, Country Caddy's Needleworks for Snowfall. The, uh, stitch along that Priscilla and Chelsea Real Housewives are doing and I got most of the words done and I don't think Autumn's seen how far I got done the bunny and no the but I've been pretty comatose oh. all week yes true can you hold that because I felt um, bad on I Tuesday. almost I mm. almost got the words done but I ran out of the color Ran out well, of the fl fancy floss. Cricket ran away with the fancy floss. Yeah, and I so I just ordered some more. Cause there's no telling where it went. Yeah, and she, I, I guess mm -hmm. I don't. I guess I like my floss 
too long because I I ran out. Should you think there would be plenty, but I think it's me because I like long floss. I hate changing my floss over. All right, so I got the bunny done and the tree done, and I also worked a little bit more on Carolyn Manning's winter garden, and she's got a spring I think that just came out, really pretty. But I gotta do. You gotta one do the first. winter one first. Yeah, I'm not gonna get it till I finish this one. So I did finish the the. Am I in there? I should just. Yeah, you're in this. there. I did finish all of the white in that section. And that's the hardest part. And it's just a mirror of... Right. Of the other side. So I worked on all three of my stitch alongs a little bit. And I didn't really accomplish a whole lot. But I don't know. Every stitch is one I don't I have to do. You accomplished more than me, Mom. You going to show off a little bit that you did, babe? Yep. All right. Autumn worked a little bit. Like I said, she... Yeah, I... Worked a little bit on it on Monday. I started feeling bad around Tuesday and I've been comatose for about four days. But I got like, I don't know. I think Three I only had like, I think I have like four or five rows done now. Extra than last week's. But <laughs> are you liking the three strands now that you're getting used to it? Um, a little bit, but because I was really worried about not having enough room on this really fancy stuff, mm -hmm. you can see that I don't have it very well done. So it's very loose. So uh, I don't know if the reason why I dislike it so much is because, because of your the fabric. threads or because my fabric's really loose. You going to show your pattern? Yes, I am going to show my pattern. This is the overall pattern, and so far I have... Where are you, where are you at? <laughs> that done. <laughs> Uh, oh, actually, I think I have right, like, there. <laughs> From there to there. <laughs> it's called a start. It is. It's been a start. It is for, like, a, a couple of weeks. <laughs> so. Uh, and the uh, bummer of it is, is, of course, she's going to have three days worth of catching up at school to do this. Week, yeah, so, so I'm not going to get very much done at all either. Time. So, moving into the first <laughs> Sunday, the first week of February is when I work on my cottages of the month and I am going to continue on with February. Let me get that out. I'll take out the little the one if I get that done. Okay, so here is where I I don't know where the picture pattern is that is. Well at least I got the actual pattern. <laughs> I don't have February I'm holding the other one. Yeah, so here's where I got to in February. Not I might I don't know, depending on if I get in the mood, I might get that finished this week. Maybe not. Maybe yes. I don't know. <laughs> no, don't tell them with me. If I do get the February's Country Cottage, then I will go on with March. Here's March. I wish I knew where I put that picture. But obviously, I am not really well in your defense you did have to take care of me for like yeah i'm blaming days. we'll blame autumn yeah <laughs> i'm blaming the flu so yeah. yeah we could blame the flu so anyway i'm hoping to get to that it has sheep on there that autumn loves <laughs> i so. do it's just so cute <laughs> i'm gonna try i think when i do floss toss i'm gonna try it on a green fabric that i tea dyed a little bit we'll see that's what i'm i'm debating on then as you know, the Olympics starts this week and Stitch Mania. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I'm excited. It starts Friday. And Stitch Mania is doing a special Olympic kind of challenge or stitch along. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to join that. So I'm going to do, here's my list. That. So the different. Long list, yeah. Mom. And I have it all. And I'm not repeating patterns. <laughs> so. I think what I'm going to do is do my do like a half an hour of my of my weekly weekly rotation, and then whatever time I have left, I will work on what on my uh, stitch alongs for the Olympics. I'm excited about the Olympics. I love them. Mm -hmm. I want to know what everyone's favorite events are, because I'm a sucker for the figure skaters, I, for the winter ones. I love the bobsled and the oh, luge, I do like the and I love the speed too. skating. Yeah. And yeah. But figure skating, I think, is my favorite. Like, I like a I lot like of them, too. but I think that one's my favorite. And I like some of the skiing. I, I, I enjoy the, the how they do the long-distance skiing. They are 
so yes. awesome. I just think that is really, they are athletic. Anyway, so on February 9th, the theme is opening ceremony, which is either do a new start or work on your late, or your newest whip. And I'm going to do a new start. And I thought I would do one that's semi-patriotic for the Olympics. This comes from this magazine, For the Love of Cross Stitch, July 1992. And I'm going to do the bears with the American flag. I think those are cute. So I'll be doing that on the 9th. They are cute. I know. And then on Saturday, February 10th, is the theme is just Winter Olympics. And it's do a winter, a winter theme piece. So I will be doing, I know you can't be surprised about this because I just worked on it last week, but yeah, my let it snow. So I'm going to work on that on Saturday while I watch the Olympics. I will be watching the opening ceremony. On oh the, yeah, that's one of the best parts. That's the best parts. I love, I, I love the show, but I also love the Parade of Nations. Yeah, with all the flags. Mm -hmm. I love, I love watching them come in. And so here we am. Uh, uh, here I am. Here I am on Let It Snow. Yeah, so. they're here. I think they both here, technically there I work. Am. Anyway, yeah, I've got the rest yeah. all planned out. So on Sunday next week, I'll go through the week or the rest of my. Mom, you're crazy. I am. Most I tried to fit in all my monthly, you know, my weekly projects. I put those in there, but there's some new ones in there and some old whips. So I'm excited to do that. Okay, so that is all of what I want to work on and what we have worked on. And that means first week flip through. Autumn has that over there by her. Oh, I put my stuff on it. And this is 2015. You know, we did 2017, 2016, and we're going backwards. Yeah, 2015. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's a cross stitch Christmas and this little Joey thing. I'm the name is on the bottom. Oh. Uh. uh Handcrafted moments. Yes. <laughs> I didn't see it. I just the whole the whole series is the cross stitch Christmas and then it's like little mm. um things. Anyway, I put the tabs on so we can find it fairly quickly. So we don't spend our time. Oh, and I love reindeer. Christmas classics. Oh, and it says things like Noel, Joy, and Peace on the yeah, Order. this section seems, I guess, is red and gold, more red and gold kind of colors. Well, it's kind of like the classic Christmas colors. Yeah, it's a classic Christmas. Yeah, there's the one on the cover if you guys couldn't see it very well. Like yeah, it was kind of there somewhere. Kind of like that one. I feel like we've flipped through this, or at least I've seen that pattern before. You might have. You might have. We haven't done it here. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like this one. This one's cute. Which one are you looking at? This one? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Which is... I don't know. It's all just Christmas classics. I like those uh, birds and the... I like doing the Santa outfit. I was a fan of this series, I think. I am. I like a lot of it. Yeah, I like a lot of it, too. I'm actually a big fan of this next one, though. <laughs> Just tell us how you really feel on it. <laughs> well, I feel like I was saying how much I liked it, and then <laughs> the very <laughs> next one is one I did not like. Okay. <laughs> oh, goodness. It does not want to flip to the tab. Well, well there we go. <laughs> this one's all blues, I think. More blues. Cool you all. I think that's a John Elliott. I don't know, but I kind of like the penguin. Not enough to stitch it. It's just kind of cute. <laughs> I like the pattern on the light. This one. I like this yeah, pattern. I'm starting to really like those a lot more too. And there's some ornaments. Uh, the silhouetted Santa with the reindeer is kind of cool. Oh, it is. I like that banner. Oh, cover. Good job, Autumn. Autumn, yeah. Autumn, you're still supposed to make us that special cover page. We need. To That's right. I keep forgetting <laughs> to do it. So it's pretty or uh, something. I kind of really like like that one and that one. Actually, I kind of really like all of these. These are really pretty snowflakes. They are, aren't they? Do they have beads on them? Um, 
They need beads. We'll have to, I think. Yes, they have beads. Oh, they have hang. It's hanging. Oh, oh so then they're again, hanging. So then again, they're hanging. It's hard to see. I, can you see? Because oh, they've been really with, far with like bead dangles. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I don't, I don't know so much if I like the bead dangles. Actually, <laughs> I think it should put beads on there. I think it. Yeah, I agree. I think beads should be like on the snowflakes. Ah. Third section. By the chimney with care. That is a fancy free sock right there. <laughs> Fill that sock. Very colorful, actually. Kind of like it. Doesn't look very Christmassy. I don't know. No, it doesn't look well. No, but I, I kind I like the colors. If I could say words. See, <laughs> I like the banner one. It's banner. I've yeah. been liking the banners lately. I have to do something about that. I like the stocking. The snowflakes. Mm-hmm. I like that, too. That's kind of cute. There's the little dog stockings. We always get our pets Christmas presents. Uh, so Autumn does. Like, you wouldn't get Bumble something. <laughs> Are you kidding? We always, go, we always go on um, Black Friday. Yeah, pet smart. <laughs> yeah. We're those people. We don't go fight the crowds. There aren't any crowds at Pet Smart on Black Friday. So nope. <laughs> and we get free uh we get a free hat to torture our animals with for yeah. pictures for like a minute. <laughs> it's <fun. laughs> kinda like their name do it on the Which one? See? Oh yeah. I guess it's Oh, it's just showing you you can do any letter. Yeah, they give you they give you an alphabet. Yeah. To personalize. Personally, I'd be worried about people tearing it, but you know. Uh, what? Not everybody's as rough as you are, Adam. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but what's the point of like wrapping paper? Can I want to viciously I destroy like it? These. That looks like cookies. They do. I do like cookies. As my what is this called? Candy Christmas. Candy Christmas. I forgot to say it. Yeah, Autumn, I'd fire you, but I need you. I kind of like this. Like, parts of it I like, but not in the whole. That's kind of cute. Oh, that says Noel. Yeah. I don't know. I think I would like it better if I stitched it, which I probably wouldn't. But if I did, I would put them all in a row rather than on top yeah, of Yeah, I don't. So it's long. That's what I would do. This kind of looks like Easter to me, if I'm being honest. That. They look like Easter colors. Yeah, they do, don't they? <laughs> oh, those are cute, though. I like the penguins. Those are cute. <laughs> <gasps> look at that penguin. <laughs> I kind of like the dog, too. <laughs> I like those. those I really fun. like the penguin. I don't want to stitch that penguin. Uh-oh. I'll buy the small No, a small one's good. After your big one, you're going to want to. Yeah, I'm going to want a small one every now and then to put in between. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> there we go. Santa section. Santa's coming to town. And then there's a big Santa there. With a polar bear. Oh, let's see. Oh, that's cute. On um, what kind of looks like a terrifying leash ribbon. It kind of looks terrifying to me. I, I mean, it's just the way he's holding it. The Ooh. fact, I don't know. Something about that seems <laughs> off to me. <laughs> I like it. Oh, that's cute. I kind of like this. This is cute. Yeah, I love that too. With the town underneath and Santa at the top. And then there's Mr. and Mrs. Claus. <laughs> we approve of this book. We do approve of this book. Oh, well, this one's pretty and kind of like a classic Santa. I love the rain when there's reindeer. That's one of my favorite. I like reindeer too. And that one has like a raccoon in it too, in the corner. Oh, you can't go wrong with reindeers and raccoons. Nope. <laughs> Last section. Oh, I flipped right to it. Cold Cozy wow. Christmas. I actually really like this one. The Peace on Earth with the kind of simplistic houses and I trees. Like that too. And I like the reindeer pattern. So far, this is our favorite section, huh? 
Well, I liked the classic Christmas a lot, too. Yeah. Oh, oh I love these two little me things too. here. The that's, winter scenes. Love. That's really pretty, both of those. Uh, this, maybe the reindeer with a different color on a different fabric for me. I like it, though. I yeah, like I like it. it, but I want it in something different. Maybe just a different fabric back. Yeah, you can play with that easily. No, oh, yeah, it's only like two colors. Yeah. Oh, I like this Merry Christmas. There's like holly surrounding it. And there's baby Jesus. Sitting in a manger. And, and that's it. Finished. 20, uh oh, I forgot what year it was. 2015. 2015. So 2015. Yeah, here's the cover again. Christmas crafted nice and handcrafted moments. Um, so, some memories. Mm. Next month we'll do 2014. <laughs> May as well, right? Yeah, we'll go. We all the way start back going back in time already. I do have more than just Christmas ones, but since we're in the, that series, we may as well finish it. Um, my mom has a lot of Christmas ones. My mom my loves Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew. <laughs> There's no getting around that. It's my favorite time of the year. Always has been. All right. Well, thanks for joining us for our floss team section. Now we're ready to move on. I'm not saying goodbye. I'm <laughs> saying thanks for joining us for that part. <laughs> you shouldn't even say that. That sounds uh, final, Mom. It does sound final. But it's not. It's not. So that means we're ready for our Afghan update. Oh, well, you've got Afghan. a lot done. Not really, but it looks like I did. I really like the ripples when it's when it's like two really different. Because I'll, I'll show that. No, I'll explain. Let's see. So here's our book. Yes, yeah, because you do uh, one way. You do the you you enter the front loop, and one Depth. way two different depths. <laughs> yeah, and one way you enter in the back loop. So, I have no idea what that. Means I know, but well. the first air is known. <laughs> and so that makes the. Uh, the bridge pattern. I don't know the if we'll be able to back. see that, but oh, we'll try and point it out. Here we go. Let's get up close, maybe. No, you can see that. You can on. see it. Yeah, that's front those, loop those versus are back loop. Two different heights. Yeah. Heights is another word you could use. Mm. <laughs> My string. Oops. I guess I have one I need to put back in. So I'm getting there. We're getting there. Yeah. Little by little. I am now on row. It's already warm. <laughs> I'm on row 24. So, what is that? Almost a quarter of the way. It's 105. Oh, not right. quite. Not it's quite. A little bit less. So, a couple more rows. So, by next week, we'll be a quarter of the way on the Sapkin. So. Yay! I'm going <laughs> to have a before she goes to college. That's our goal to finish. <laughs> That's our goal. Well, she doesn't want me to go with the other Afghan she made me. No, because it's but I would. <laughs> I know. That's why we're doing that. All okay, right. So, uh, oh yeah, walk update. Not, not the best walking here. I, I I'm gonna show the cover again because I, really, <laughs> I love this cover, Mom. I'm a sucker for I math. I was watching so. uh, Kate from Kate Kate's Crafty Corner, and she's getting ready to walk more, or she's already started, and that is super cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's if, that's if, I, if I ever get done with the Fifty States, I'm still walking more. Oh, that's okay. We don't need that. Um, I only walked like 22 miles this week. Yeah, 22 miles. So I made it to this mountain range. Oh, you can see the pictures a lot better this time. Oh, yeah, because our lighting's better. I think it's Shell Mountain Range. Uh, Shell. Yeah, Shell. 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 No, I don't know. Shell Creek Range. Yeah. Shell Creek Range. I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's S. <laughs> CH. I, I have you. problems with pronouncing things like that. <laughs> the beauty of Nevada ju it, on just Look seeing the images is. is is amazing to me. I did not. I guess I expected more desert, less mountain, and making me want to live in Nevada. Makes me want to go visit Nevada. It is beautiful. The pictures we, I, that I printed out on this loneliest highway. So, but I think next week, if I get my thirty to thirty-five miles in, I will make it to a town. So. Super excited about that. Look at us. Look at you. Rather. Look at me. Maybe and then I'll be less than 300 miles, too. So, so I've got to do it. The weather would cooperate. And diseases would cooperate. Yeah, if all that would cooperate with us, we might actually accomplish things. 
<laughs> and if the lazy would go away, let's face it, there was a little lazy in there. Anyway, I guess I'm ready for my books. Autumn, of course, was ill, so Disease. she watched... What, did you watch a lot of TV? What did you watch? Yes. I... Great British Baking Show. Oh. <laughs> Lots of that. I love that show. <laughs> I'm going to learn, <laughs> <laughs> learn how to bake, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to bake things. <laughs> they actually have a, a recipe book, but I think it's all in English measurements. We should just get a scale. So we'd have to get it. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> That's right. We'd have to convert. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, books I read. I finished this. Big one. This is book four in the Outlander series, the Gabaldon, Strands of Autumn. I'm sure most people have heard about it if not read it. It's, you know, it's a love story. It's got adventure and all kinds of stuff in it. I enjoy it. It's a little over the top, but hey. When it comes Fiction. to love story adventures, over the top tends to be the over best the top, kind of thing. not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm moving on to book five, The Pirate Cross. Uh, it'll take me a while because I, of course, I read other books at the same time. It's like my stitching. I stitch on a million things. I read a lot. So the other book I finished. Oops, that's upside down. That was upside down. It's Cat Town by Karen Slaughter. Uh, I was disappointed in this one. I'll be honest. I've read some of her series and I enjoyed those. But this one, I don't know if this is going to be a series or not, but I won't continue it. I was disappointed. I mean, it's okay. I mean, if, mm -hmm. if you like her, if you like her, I would, and I do like some of her stuff, I just didn't care for this one. I made awkward eye contact with like the author's oh, the author picture on the back. back. I <laughs> <laughs> but, but just, just a real quick kind of, uh, real quick. Uh, it took place in the seventies in Atlanta, I believe, and yeah, a woman cop. I didn't. Um, I finished it, but I didn't. I don't like it, but other people might, so there we go, which brings us to our last thing, like always, huh, who knew, we have a random fact, can we stop doing we it, we can't stop doing it, that's our, that's our shtick, uh. <laughs> we have a shtick, <laughs> that's see, we could be comedians, right, no, no. <laughs> we could be the one, the comedians they throw tomatoes at, that, that works. That would probably. <laughs> Some of those become super famous and make money. So. Okay, that's our goal. We make money being having tomatoes thrown at us. I think we'd be okay we'll with be that. Because okay. <laughs> of that could have Anyway, anyway, we're way off topic. Yeah, uh, we are. Wait, we're going to talk about guillotines. Yeah. So, like, so get the background of why we were going to talk about guillotines. <laughs> so, we discovered that Pirates of the Caribbean, the newest one. Yeah, the last one they made. Is on Netflix, so we were just kind of had a family gathering to watch it. And so he was going to get guillotined. Yeah, Johnny Depp was I, in the guillotine. <laughs> and he was swinging and being his. And I remembered reading somewhere about, like, the guillotine. And I was like, I thought the last one was, like, World War II kind of time. I was like, no, I don't think so. And she thought it was way earlier. No, I thought stopped. it was the 50s, but I was wrong, too. Yeah, I thought it was, like, the... Forties. Jazz is the one who thought it was really uh, early. Surprisingly enough, France did not stop using the guillotine. The last one was 1977. Mm -hmm. That surprised me. And they outlawed it in 1981. Yes. That was surprising to me. And then I, I believe his was also public, wasn't it? His execution? I, I don't believe. Know. I believe it Probably. was public. And I think that's one of the reasons everyone kind of went, we shouldn't do this. We kind of had a mob. Well, and then, of course, I had to go dig deeper. I went into the history.com one again on the history of the guillotine. That was, fasc <laughs> it was fascinating, too. Well, it is, it is a fascinating thing. Uh, and I shouldn't be laughing because thousands and thousands of people were killed using the guillotine, including including in Nazi Germany, which I did not know. I didn't know that either. They, apparently, Hitler put, like, in the big cities and would use the guillotine on the political dissidents and stuff. Did yeah, not know that. One, According to history.com. That is one yeah. way to make terror. Guillotines are I thought frankly that was quite really terrifying. Interesting. And also, it was the guy who invented it did it to be more humane. He did. And then he also got executed by it. Because, you know, when they used to do it with the swords, it didn't always work on the first time. So that was why he did that. And I thought that was interesting, too. So, anyway. Uh, they would also... 
uh, in cer certain times, uh, I think they stopped in the la later years, they would tell the people who they were cutting the heads off to blink as long as possible. They did. And they recorded it, and some guy, like, lasted 27 seconds. To see if how long it took them, if they were still conscious or so whatever. Anyway, we'll link that. The link yeah, that it's, it's really a fascinating it kind of thing. really interesting, and uh, next week we promise that our... Uh, Huh. We'll, we'll be, be happier. So yeah, we'll, we'll be so gruesome, but it was kind of an interesting <laughs> history thing that I didn't know about. So, yeah, we do, and we're sorry to bring our news down. It's still fascinating. It's still fascinating in history, <laughs> isn't it? That, all that kind of stuff. All right, so next week, nothing special, second week of the, of the month, so we'll just do our usual stuff. But I will have my um, more of my Olympic... Stitch Along Challenges from Stitch Mania. So that'll be fun for me to share. <laughs> anyway, anything else, though? I can't think of anything, no. Have a good week, and we'll see you next week. Bye.